Okay, cool. So that describes the roll in a spin. But remember, also take a look at this drag arrow here, right? This drag arrow right here is greater than this drag arrow way over there. So as a result, as this wing drops, it's also going to get pulled backwards. So we can see off we go towards the west now. Pitching up, pitching up. A little bit more, a little bit more. It's almost ready to go. Full back, full left rudder. Okay, hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. There we go, okay. Uh, full opposite rudder, pitch forward. All right, in the dive, roll level, ease out of the dive. Oh. There's a reference line right there. So from the reference line, I'm gonna follow the curve until I get to my headwind component, which was, remember, right here, 10 knots. So let's take this, go over and across, right there, and now I can go straight down. Now, if the intruder aircraft has no transponder, your transponder isn't going to see that aircraft, and you're going to get no protection. That's why you still need to look outside the cockpit. Now, if the intruder transponder only has mode A, you're going to get traffic advisory only. Remember, mode A just gives position. It doesn't give altitude. So all your transponder will be able to tell is that there is another aircraft close to you laterally. It doesn't know if it's above, below, or co-altitude with you. I'm going to touch down 400 foot marker, so I want to start my flare right about to the threshold. So I'm just a little bit high, so I'm just going to reduce the power just a little bit, 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 just a little bit. Okay, just about there. Power right to idle. Start that flare. Let the airplane, you know, kind of, kind of flare, kind of flare, kind of flare, kind of flare. There we go. Touch it down. 